The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not in any way reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Sa aming bahay, ang aming body. Tawad! Alam mo ba, September pa lang ngayon? Ay, ganun po ba? Hi there, Ian here. And welcome to another Salty Reactions, where commentaries need an extra dose of salt. Welcome to the Burr Months, a time of speeding up and slowing down. The third of the year focused on sales, bargains, parties, and bad hangovers. A season where we brace for heavy rains, spook people with stories, remember the departed, and thank the good Lord for all the things that happened in the year that will be passing in the next four months. But then, the coronavirus came. Shops closed, businesses flopped, people screamed profanities from the rooftops out of frustration, and unfortunately, many people died. So now that we've come to this part of the year, are we still looking forward to cold, rainy nights, laugh off the horror stories of friends, living our lives despite the death of a loved one or friend, or even thank the heavens that you can still have the chance to weather the crisis made by COVID-19. It is very hard to answer that question. I admit, it really is. But I hope I can shed some light with all we're experiencing right now. One of them is the most ubiquitous thing to consider at this time. How do we celebrate Christmas this year? Honestly, it is a good question. But the church has somehow given us context clues as to how we can celebrate Christmas. It is to wait and wait and wait and wait. And the ecclesial season attributed to that is Advent. But Ian, you say, isn't that part of Christmas as well? Let me tell you, mga kababayan. It's two different seasons and two different themes. So you might ask me, what is Advent? Liturgically, it is a semi-penitential season of four weeks before Christmas, focusing more on the anticipation for the coming of the Messiah. Basically, ang Advent ay ang apat na linggo bago ang Pasko. And uh, the liturgical color of this uh, season is violet in contrast with purple, which is attributed to Lent. So, that's basically the difference uh, of that. But, rose is also a uh, liturgical co color for Advent because the third Sunday of it, uh, priests wear um, rose vestments. Hindi pinka, rose vestments. And, uh, alam ko na sabihan ko na din yung mga fans ng isang K-pop group na hindi lang exclusive sa idol nila, mga idol nila na isang Korean pop boy band yung uh, kulay na purple or violet I've uh, tackled that up there in the video and the link uh, up there, so panoorin nyo na lang and uh, yun uh, it also is the same thing with Lent uh, the fourth Sunday of Lent is also a uh, Rose Sunday, so that's uh where the similarities uh, end. The differences begin with, uh, as I said, it is only semi-penitential. Uh, it is uh, very much, um, people are very much invited to go to confession during Advent, just as, just as everyone is uh, invited to go to confession uh, every Lent. So, but instead of um, uh, atonement and penitence and all that Advent is more of anticipation and um, 
uh, worthiness of uh, being in the presence of the Lord. But you might ask me, why Advent? Why focus uh, on uh, the semi-penitential mood of Advent than uh, preparation for something big and something spectacular as Christmas and all of that? Here's why. In this world full of the mundane and the commercialization of everything cultural, which is grounded to a halt because of this pandemic, it is a high time for all of Christendom to think of the Burr months as a spiritual preparation as much as it has been a physical one. Although liturgically we are still within the ordinary season after Pentecost and we should adhere to that, we can always think that it is a constant advent. You wanna know why? Because the season of advent is not just a commemoration of the Lord's nativity, which is basically what we've been celebrating all our lives every Christmas. But it is also an anticipation, a vigilance, if you may call it that way, of the dreaded day of the second coming of the Lord who's, who first came through the uh, to the world through the womb of the Virgin, as foretold by the prophets. Some ad-lib uh, commentaries here. Quite honestly, medyo ano din ako, eh. medyo cringy din na uh, lalagyan ko to ng ano, no, uh, kantang Christmas in our hearts ni Jose Marie Chan. I'll just sample it. I hope I would not be copy strike. <laughs> um, lalagyan ko lang siya sa intro. Mabilis na mabilis na. Just the intro. That's it. And uh, I hope Jose, Mr. Jose Marie Chan would not copy strike me for that. Okay. So, um, and then uh, yung uh, outro bahala na maybe the the usual um, extra or whatever the usual uh, credits um, usual credits with uh, us uh, music so yun lang naman so that's also the reason bakit medyo hindi man special pero medyo iba ang ano ko ang atake ko dito sa ano to and that's because a lot of people are really wanting to push the play button or tap play uh, once it come once it comes into midnight of the 1st of September so <laughs> nakatuwa lang na para naging pop culture na or naging pop culture icon na si Jose Marie Chan just because of that song and because of that album uh, it's not just that Christmas is in our, Christmas in our hearts is not just the title of a song it's also the title of an album which basically are uh, his not really his compositions but him him singing uh, all those uh, contemporary um, contemporary uh, music fit for that season and some covers so I guess that's also the, that's all that I've uh, actually uh, wanted to say here and uh, quite honestly, hindi ko rin alam talaga yung ano eh, yung sabihin ko din at this point. Kasi nasabi ko na yun ka, uh, kahapon, sa video ko kahapon, that we should, uh, we should think about this season as Advent and not Christmas. An, an extended Advent and not Christmas. Kasi sa totoo lang, we have all the time in the world to prepare physically for what seems to be an event that already happened but spiritually we are not prepared for something that would still happen and uh, that would still uh, that we are still waiting to happen and that is the second coming and uh, when, you, you, when you say second coming you might think about the Requiem sequence or the sequence in, in the Requiem mass call uh, uh, entitled Dies Irae, the Day of Wrath. We all know the the arrangements made by Mozart and Verdi and Salieri and all these other musicians having their requiem masses. It's part of the it's part of the of the requiem mass, and uh, I guess we have to reflect on the text of Dies Irae in this season especially uh, pagdating na ng November dahil nga and all that and then 
we have to think about that and even on the first Vespers or the first Sunday of Advent, let us think about the Day of Wrath. DSE Day. Nalalagay ko na sa description sa baba yung ano, yung uh, Gregorian chant version nun. Uh, and uh, siguro yung ay, siguro, siguro makikita nyo naman din sa YouTube yung mga ano, mga requiem masses ni Mozart, ni Verdi, ni Salieri, uh, and all and all of those other uh, classical musicians. So, I guess you can um, check them out. So, before I go on tangents, I I would like to uh, wrap this up. In conclusion, let us make Christmas more meaningful this year by fostering a vigilant mood to not eat drink and be merry just yet until midnight of the 25th of December comes. Only then we can we can pop that champagne. And we all hope that by the time that we are celebrating Christmas this pandemic would now wane. But let us still expect the worst and pray for it. Pray that it may it might not happen. Basically, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. That's basically the theme of this pandemic. So I guess that's all that I have to say as of the moment. So with all that said, the Zian reminding you to keep your hamon sweet. And your spaghetti sauce salty. And Italian style, I guess. And at all times, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, and see you next time. Merry Christmas. What now? Just see you next time. Bye, guys.